Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I got a price request for a Monsters, Inc. birthday party. So while I don't know if I'm actually gonna do this, I thought it would be cool anyway to actually go through the process of how I got the sizing and what I was recommending. So, I mean, just to kind of keep in mind, um, you can always order from me, but if that doesn't work out, we can also do like a private Zoom lesson. So I can show you how to do one, give you advice on how to do it, and you can do the rest by yourself. Um, or you choose to just put in a special request, like I wanna do this, like what would you do? So, <laughs> so cause I'm gonna do that anyway. So, all right, this is what I did. These are the images from Design Space, which I love. I mean, I, th I think these are the cutest images that they have, but what you would do is you would go into images. So let's do that now and do Monsters, Inc. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't know these characters. <laughs> um, I always kind of narrow down the search again. So I um, click on Disney. So this is the first image, James. And then I liked this one. And the reason why I picked this one as opposed to these two is... Um, this one just looks like it's a clean file. There's a solid black background and then um, everything just kind of looks more proportionate than these two, for instance. Um, all right, so I picked these two and then it came down to Boo. And Boo, I felt like with her shirt, that's gonna really limit me because the shirt is pink. So if it was any, if it was a darker color, I might consider, you know, slicing it up and making it bigger. But Boo, her face is actually not that big. It's really her shirt. So I didn't like this image. I opted for this one because if we decided, let's say she only wanted one character, she wanted Boo, and we wanted to make Boo 30 inches. Well, I would have the options of sort of extending these lines out so that each one of these would be like a sliver, its own piece. I'm not gonna make it look seamless. I'm gonna make it look like it's a deliberate cut. I would extend these black outlines and make this one piece, this another piece, and this another piece. So I liked this image. So select your images and then click insert. In my case, they're already inserted, so I'm gonna cancel out of it. So what I did next is I looked at my characters to see where I'm gonna have difficulties. So my difficulties, of course, with this guy is, I mean, he's just all one big blue thing, right? I mean, he has his belly, so it's a little different than just one blue, but look at this blue, right? It starts here, goes all the way around, includes his face, includes the other arm. This is going to really limit us, which is why I brought in the balloons, because I thought if we, um, let me move this down just a little bit. So I thought if I added the balloons, and I'm gonna bring it to the front, arrange, send to the front. I picked a balloon with an outline so it would match the black outline. We can work with that in a second. But you know, if I did something like this, it would cut off the arm. It would give me just this blue portion right here. You know, it just gives you more options. Thankfully, the legs are at their own pieces, right? So knowing that I can do that for the rest of his body, this light blue, I didn't want to have any seams in it because it's so centered. He's huge. I feel that if you added, if you tried to make him big, you're taking away from the wow factor when there's a seam running across his belly. So this is what I did. I, um... I first did 30 inches because I was hopeful, right? So I'm gonna show you what I did. 30 inches, you ungroup it because I wanna know what the dimensions are of the belly. So here's my belly, it's 14 inches by 9.9. I mean, there's really no way around this. Like I can't twist it and make it better. So I, it, we were close though, right? It's not that far off. So let me grab this guy again and let's resize him to and then I did 28 inches and at 20 oops I'm sorry let me go back over there at 28 inches his belly this little blue piece was 9.2 by 13 and 13 was still too difficult so grabbed him again made him 27 inches 
At 27, this is you, there's still a trick to it, okay? So at 27 inches, his belly is almost 9 inches by 12.71. But because it's so close to being under 12 inches, I you can twist this a little bit and let's see what we have. So here, so now we're getting closer, right? 12.1, 9.6. So let's twist it some more. 10.4 and 11.8. Technically, the way it is right now, you could cut it. Design Space says you can only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? So 11.8 is a little bit too long. But it we will fool it into thinking that we're gonna use 12 by 24 cardstock. So it's going to require us to use a 12 by 24 mat. But all we need to do is twist it. If you have it like this, then I would put my paper, my 12 by 12 cardstock, right at the 12 line. It's gonna cut all the way to 11.865 because it thinks that there's another 12 inches below it. So right here at 27 inches, your big point, your big um, difficulty um, is this belly and it's going to be seamless. So if this is gonna be seamless, I can work with this, right? Because I was looking at the face, worst cases, if I can't get the balloons to work, I would continue the deliberate slice right here and up here. So that would remove the face from this big blue piece, right? His face would be one piece, and then maybe, you know, I can slice something up here where it's not as obvious, or maybe right here. This slice would be great because this purple's right here. I'm just gonna have a little seam right here. So there are more things, you know, that we could kind of creative ways we can come up with to avoid that. Now, so at 27 inches, what I did then was I kind of looked at these guys to see, well, if he's 30 inches, they really shouldn't be 30 inches either. I mean, you could make all of them big, right? I mean, it's your party, you do whatever you want to. <laughs> but if you were to line them up and take pictures, they should kind of be proportionate, right? So, um, and I don't even know, I've seen the movie, but I had to look it up to see, you know, are these two guys the same size? I don't even know. But I think with him at 16 inches, um, let's see, I would probably, make a deliberate seam right here so that his arm would be one piece, his face is one piece, the legs are, you know, a piece by themselves. So it would be like one egg going around. Um, so slice right here, slice right here, and here and here. So then we can actually, he would probably, I think he would be seamless. So, because we would make this a deliberate cut. So it'd be one, you know, like egg shape for his face and then the pieces would be separate. All right, and then with her being 14 inches, she's gonna be seamless because everything is broken up into pieces. She's gonna look amazing. And if you use a little bit of glitter cardstock here and there, she's gonna pop out and be the cutest little thing. And she's gonna be relatively sturdy. I mean, the eyes, the little eyes up here is gonna be, um, this part right here will be a little delicate, but her overall main body is going to be so sturdy that you're gonna be able to hold her up and take pictures with her. So, all right, now that we have all these pieces, let's work, let's do this middle guy first, okay? So I'm gonna separate this into three, um, three videos, because I know no one wants to sit through like a three hour video of me trying to figure this out. <laughs> but I told the customer, I said, I might still keep the balloons in this one as well, because look, if I put the balloon here, then I don't have to slice up this arm, right? Um, do a deliberate cut here. I mean, there's just so many other options that we have once we start adding in things. Or we could add in a sign or you know something. But I just felt like the balloons was a good choice because it has an outline. So we can make this outline black and then the balloons would be whatever color we want them to be. All right, so let's do this first guy. Um, at 16 inches. So let's ungroup this just to see what we have, right? So we know this green, this green is, oops, not that. 
here we go. So this green is 18 inches across and for, I mean, he's just, he's just all green there. And there are going to be some characters that are like that. Elmo, Big Bird. So you need to find a file that still looks good where we can, where we can have some, um, some areas where we can edit. So I'm going to do that deliberate cut right here and we're going to see what that looks like. Okay. So let's go to text. Um, my favorite font to slice things up is I love glitter. So if you don't have this, it is a free font from the font. So that's D as in dog, A F O N T.com. Um, okay. And what the character that you want is it's to the right of the letter P it's the square bracket. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. It is such a cool little piece. So let me move it out so you can see it. Oops. Okay, it's right here. I'm going to make it bigger. So because a straight line is not going to look as if it's part of this file, right? But this glyph gives you enough curves here and there that we can kind of use it here. So I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna use this little area right here. Okay. And you see how it kind of fits in, right? Um, so you wanna make sure that your glyph is of the same width. I think it's about the right width here. So fingers crossed, we have this one already selected. Hit your shift key, go over to your right hand side panel and grab the green and slice. Okay, so we're gonna start removing it so we can kind of see, okay. So you see this right here? I mean, granted this is no longer part of the, let me put this back so we can see what he looks like. If you were to see this file right now, the way it is, with this deliberate cut, I don't think you would say, oh my gosh, that's so weird that the arm's not attached to the head, right? And by having it a deliberate cut, you're not gonna have any seams. So it's going to look really, really good, right? Um, comparing the two arms, I don't think one is better than the other, but if this one doesn't give me any seams, I'm going with this arm, all right? So what we need to do is we need to get rid of the other, um, there are still some slice results here. Oh, you see right there, all right. So we need to get rid of that and that. Those are the pieces that we sliced out, okay? So I'm gonna remove that. And to put this back though, so that you could see what it looks like, Okay, let's put him back. And now we need to slice off the other arm and we're actually going to need to slice off his feet as well, his legs. Okay, so I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna bring in a few more of these. So give me a second. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna make a few copies because I know I'm gonna have to cut three, three times total, three more times. Okay, so here we go. All right, so on this one, I'm going to flip it vertically because I need it to curve this way, right? So I'm gonna um, rotate it and get it to fit in here so that it's a natural cut. Almost there. And sometimes, you know, once you have your cut in, it's not hard to um, just take your scissors at the end. If it feels a, just, you know, if you need to make a slight adjustment, you can easily make that adjustment with your scissors. Okay, so I kind of like the way this looks right here. I already have my glyph selected, right? Because you can see it has the blue um, rectangle around it. So that's the item that's selected. You can also tell on your right-hand side panel, this is a darker gray, this is the selected item. So I'm gonna hit my shift key and I'm gonna grab the green guy and slice. Um, and while it's slicing, you know, you can only slice two items at one time. So I'm slicing the, the black glyph and my green object. And look at that. I mean, seriously, he looks good. 
There's no way you can tell me that that looks weird, right? <laughs> okay, so this looks good, right? Let's get rid of our slice results. We'll just delete it. We know we need to do the same thing with his legs. So let's do that. Oops, let me undo that, get him back where he is. And while we don't need to have the whole image like this, I find that it's easier to work with the image in its place because then I know where the glyph needs to be. So let's arrange this and send to the front so we can kind of see what we're dealing with here. And I wanna rotate it a little bit. And I think that's good right there. So then let's hit the shift key, grab the green guy and slice. Now this one, do you see how the glyph went up a little bit? So we're gonna make some changes to this one, okay? And this is, it, it's a good exercise to see. Oh, and you see he went through here as well, okay? So we're going to need to do some work here. So let me, okay. All right, so I'm moving this, but I want these green pieces to stay, right? So what I'm going to do is when I click on this green piece, I'm gonna go to contour, and really the only one I want to disappear is this one. And I'm, oops, not this one, this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I really only wanted this one gone. These pieces, I want it to stay in there, right? So this is already selected. I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna grab the green piece and I'm welding him back together because my glyph was so long, it sliced other areas. But this is how you go around it. He's back. And look at that. He looks so good. I, I mean, this is so exciting that we could do, um, we can manipulate this file and make him still look so good. All right, we've got one more leg to do. Um, I'm going to, let's flip this one, flip vertically, because I want it to, to um, do I want that? Oh, actually, I probably didn't need to do that. All right, so I'm going to flip it this way. I'm going to use this to match this. And let's put him down, um, arrange, send to the front so that we could see it and have control over moving this guy. Okay. I think right around there looks good. Okay, so hit shift, grab the green one and let's slice. And I don't think I hit slice. <laughs> okay. So here we go. On this one as well, I think we're going to have to weld him back a little bit. So let's just slowly, yeah, we are definitely gonna need to weld out this piece, weld back this green in his arm. Okay, so now when we select this green, we need to go to contour because we only wanna get rid of, I think we only wanna get rid of this one. Was it this one? We'll see. Let's. Um, yes, that's the only piece. So I'm gonna grab this green piece again and with the bigger green and weld him back together so he doesn't have that cut in the arm. And he looks so good. All right, let's see how big his face is, okay? So now to, in order to get this right measurement, what we need to do is we need to click on this one and go to contour. And just for now, we're going to hide all and just leave this big piece in the middle. So this big piece, yay, 11.259 by 11.06. He, he's gonna look seamless. He's Granted, he's not that tall, he's 16 inches, but he's gonna look seamless. Let's grab this whole thing and see if we can go up to 17 inches. At 17 inches, Okay, we can't because that's not gonna allow us to cut it. And he's so, he's in the round family. So no matter how we twist him, we're not gonna get it to work. But we could, if you're really hurting for size, I mean, if half an inch makes a difference, let's see if 16 and a half inches makes a difference. 11.6 by 11.4. So technically this one we can cut. So he could be 16 and a half inches. So let me save this, save as, and he's what? Um, Mike? Mike, 16.5 inches. Oh good, it saved. 
I, I never know with design space anymore. <laughs> Somebody's going to save. Okay. Um, let's bring back all the pieces, right? So let's go to contour. So we don't even need balloons on him. Um, let's hide all, show all. We want everything back. And so now we have him. Um, I guess if you wanted to make him bigger, you could add the balloons at this point. Um, so let's arrange them to the front. So if you would want to twist it a little bit, let's see, that would make the face like that. I mean, he's just so dang round. If you had something like this, then uh, let's move him over just a little bit. See, if you had something like this, then, and I would even rotate, hold on, let's rotate this so that, I would do something like this. The reason why is it cuts off right here and right here. So the green piece would be this piece here. Yeah, I just don't think it's gonna help. I would not do anything with the balloons. He's 16 and a half inches and he's gonna be seamless and wonderful. And in fact, I wanna show you what he looks like originally, right? So Monsters Inc. Let's find him. See, there's all these other things. So let's go to brand and Disney. Okay, so here he is. Let's insert and make him 16 and a half inches. So here are our two images. Honestly, I'm not patting myself on the back, but look at he, this image versus this image does not to me this does not impact the character or how he looks he's recognizable and he looks like he can have his arms and legs separated um it, the difference is he's going to be seamless and he's going to look great and you can use like a light green um, glitter cardstock or even just regular cardstock and make his eyes and his teeth um glitter that would be really cute and his toenails and the horns that would look really really good all right, so I'm getting rid of this one. Let's finish how to do this. So our green pieces, let's move it over. So with the green pieces, what you want is we want to separate this because we can't cut this as is, right? So he's one, two, three, four, five, five pieces, technically six, but this can cut inside. So five pieces, I'm going to use contour. So when I use contour, however many pieces I want it separated into, I need that many copies. So I need five of these. So here's my second copy, three, four, and five. Okay, let's go to contour. This is our first image and I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna give me um, the big face, but I want this. You still want these little cutouts, so let's bring that in. So here is our piece, 11.6 by 11.4. It's gonna let us cut. Let's go to the next piece, contour. Hide all, and I want the right arm. I don't want the face. Oops, wrong one. I don't want the face, there we go. So here's my arm, my arm is 4.7 by 5.2, so that's good. Next piece, contour. I'm gonna hide all. I want the left arm, I don't want the face, oops. Here's my left arm, okay, then I gotta get the legs. So my next piece, contour, hide all. I want this leg, I don't want the face. Here's my leg. Then on this one, contour. Hide all, I want this foot. I don't want the face. And here we have it. All right, one more thing I wanna show you. Okay, let's put this face back just for a split second, okay? Your black background, we're gonna have to slice it up, right? Because it's 16 and a half inches by 20 inches. So it's going to be it's gonna be cut up into four pieces. So think of four puzzle pieces that we're gonna to have to tape back together, right? So the seam is probably gonna come down right around here and probably right around here. So that means while it's tiny, there's gonna be a little bit of a seam in between the two sets of the upper teeth and the lower teeth, right? And then through his eyes. 
So the way to avoid seeing that seam is we're gonna grab this, um, duplicate it, <clears throat> contour, hide all, okay, follow along, I promise. Change the color to black. So now think of it this way. This black background is in four pieces with the seams running down the middle and across, okay? You're going to put this piece on top of all your seams and then this piece on top of everything else arranged then to the front. So now this is going to be seamless. You're not gonna see any seams. You may, I mean, in the end, you're gonna have so few seams. There's probably gonna be a little bit running right here. So what is that, like a quarter of an inch? And then right here, and then maybe a little bit up here and a little bit down here. Your seams in total is probably going to be less than an inch. It's gonna be in the black, and it's not gonna be in the center, because there's no seams running down here where your eyes are drawn to the face. So he's going to look amazing. I mean, these are all the little things that helps, that adds up. And so then it helps you create a very seamless file. Okay, so let's move him out. He's done. We've got the black piece. Now let's look at the white or um, this. Okay, so this, it, right now it's all as one image, right? So we're gonna slice. So let's bring in a square and we're gonna slice out each one of these pieces so that they don't, they don't look like with this big empty space. So make it a little bit bigger. Let's slice out this first horn. So we're gonna grab these two items and slice. And then what you'll find is now you have three pieces left, right? Grab your square, bring it down. Let's get the other horn, grab it right here and slice. So this horn, I know I'm jumping all over the place. You have slice results, we can get rid of that. We just want the horn. Okay, and this one we're just done as well. Get rid of the slice results, we don't need that. Here's the other horn. So you can put it right next to each other and so when you cut, it will be much more efficient. And then you wanna put the, the toenails in here. Grab these two items and slice. So now you have this foot and then you have this foot that's over here. Okay, so that's all done. So instead of the 11 by 16 or whatever it was, you can probably cut this in a smaller space than this because you can move things around a little bit more, but now it's five inches by a little bit over two inches. Okay, let's do, what do we have left? We have just the white. So the white is pretty efficient already, but if you really wanted to, you can slice this as well. I would bring in a circle, put the circle over the eye and slice these two apart. I'm not gonna do that for this one. You can do that on your own. Now, we have this big piece though that we still need to work with. So let's move all our pieces over. Okay. And Let's bring in our square and, okay, hold on. Let me grab this. I'm gonna duplicate this for a second. I'm gonna take a screenshot of how the two, the two different, uh, the two differ. Okay, so this square, we're gonna make it 11 by 11. And I think in this case it's okay. Oh, he's a little big. Um, all right, we're gonna need to make, let's just do it this for now. 11 by 11, put it down, and we're gonna go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 7.1 becomes seven, 6.7 becomes seven. So we're saying go over seven units, go down seven units, here's the beginning of our square. Duplicate that square, put it right here. And this one, we're gonna round again. 18.1 becomes 18, it's already at seven. So what we're saying is this one's at seven, seven plus 11 is 18, and there's 18. So we're just making sure that it's totally flushed, right? So now that we have these two flushed, hit your shift key, grab the other square, so both squares, duplicate, because these are already flushed with each other, we're gonna make them flush with the first set. So again, seven and then make this 18. Okay, so we have him all there. Let's grab 
no, not that one. Scroll down, grab him. And arrange, send to the front. So here he is, right? We knew the seams. I'm gonna zoom in for a second. Okay. Um, there's really not that much to say about him, right? I mean, he's, we're just gonna cut him into four pieces. So let's do it, ready? So one square at a time, slice, slice and then one more slice and we've got our four pieces okay let's zoom out so now he is we can cut him on the Cricut right because each piece is 10 inches by 9 let's say and then there are four big pieces you're going to tape him back up and then all the colored pieces are going to come in. So this arm, if you remember, most of it is covered. So you're just going to have a little bit of seams and then a little bit of a seam here and here, here and here and here. He's going to look amazing. We can get rid of all of this and you're done. All right, let me know if I could go faster, go slower. Did I miss something? Do you need more? Let me know, give me that feedback. And then if you have a special request or an order, you can contact me this way as well. All right, thanks guys.